all my favorite people. Today we're going to be talking about integer word problems. So we've spent some time talking about integers. Remember, positive and negative whole numbers in zero. And we've practiced adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing integers. We've also looked at key words that mean positive, like deposit, increase, forward, ascending, gained, above, up, profit, and have examined words that mean negative, like withdrawal, decrease, backward, descending, loss, below, down, debt. So now we're going to take our information and what we know about positive and negative key words and apply that to our decoding strategies for word problems. And then we're going to take what we know about the rules of integers, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing, and solve some word problems. Here we go. All right, example one says the ratings for a TV show drop a total of 10 points in two weeks. What integer represents the average change in points per week, right? So there's a lot of different things and a lot of different keywords to let us know what operation we're doing. If we're taking an average, we usually add and then divide. And per is a keyword that kind of lets us know that we're going to divide. So let's look at what numbers we're dividing. If I have a drop of total, a total of 10 points, a drop would be negative 10 in two weeks, so we're going to divide that by two, and we're going to see on average what's the change per week. Well, remember, when we divide integers, we ignore the signs. We just do 10 divided by two is five, and let's make our tic-tac-toe board. We pick one diagonal, make it positive, fill in the rest as negative, so I have a negative integer and a positive integer. Well, a negative and a positive make a negative. So negative 5 is the average decrease, right? All right, let's move on to the next one. Example 2 says when Alex went to work, the temperature was negative 2 degrees Fahrenheit. When he got home from work, the temperature raised 14 degrees. What is the actual temperature when he got home? So right now, when he leaves from work, the average, the temperature, sorry, is negative two. Over the time that he was at work, it raised 14. So raise would be positive or plus 14, right? So now I have negative two plus 14. Let's figure out the actual temperature. So this is addition. So I could use my same sign, add, different sign, subtract, same sign, keep the sign, different, keep the larger, or I could use my game board strategy, sorry, scoreboard strategy. So I have the negative team has two points, the positive team has 14 points. Well, the positive team is winning by 12. So it is 12 degrees Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit, sorry, outside right now. Well, not here, but where Alex lives. It's chilly. All right, let's look at example three. It says the temperature drops two degrees each hour for five hours. What energy represents the change in temperature over those five hours? So it's going to drop two degrees each hour for five hours. So it's going to drop negative two, negative two, negative two, negative two, negative two. Well, if I have the same integer being repeated, I could use multiplication, right? So I have that negative two degree drop, drop times five hours. So I ignore the sign. Two times five is 10. And then I have a negative and a positive. And remember, if it's mixed with multiplication, our answer is negative. So it has dropped 10 degrees negative 10. All right, last one, last one, last one, last one, last one. All right, example four is Richard is $15 overdrawn on his checking account. He writes a check for $7. What is the balance in his checking account now? So let's think this out. If you're overdrawn, 
that means you're in the negative, right? So he's already minus $15. Then he writes a check, which means more money is going to withdraw from his bank account. So he's going to subtract seven more dollars. So let's use our keep change flip since we're subtracting integers. So we're going to keep negative 15, change that minus to a plus, and this is positive seven. So we're going to make it negative seven. And then we're going to use the song this time. Same signs add, different signs subtract. So I have a negative and a negative. So that means they're the same signs. So I'm going to add 15 plus seven is 22. And then it says same sign, keep the sign, different, keep the larger. Same sign, keep the sign. So they're both negative. So my answer is negative since I'm subtracting and adding these integers. So he has negative $22 now. All right, let's go ahead and practice some integer word problems. Let me know if you have any questions. Love ya. Bye.